that certain events couldn't be canon, and that others had to happen, one way or another. Termin is a new game, and part three is several years off. But this time we'll be working without the benefit of established canon. We only know what can happen, not what must. So in this analysis, I'll instead be presenting the story as the player receives it, and where appropriate, I'll chase down and explain possible alternatives. to be an eastern deity who is sought out by warriors who have lost their purpose. Getsu is the Japanese word for moon, but that could be a coincidence. In any case, not much else is said about the being. Vitruvia is a little more interesting. She's called the architect of the human body. She is mostly referenced by a few abilities which allow the user to sacrifice limbs or organs to the goddess in order to perform feats of medicine via the principle of equivalent exchange. These two entities could be old gods, but if so, this is never confirmed and we don't really get any more explanation about them. The unassigned fox symbols could belong to them, but without confirmation it's impossible to say for sure. At the very least, they tell us that we don't have the full picture. There could be many more divine beings that the game simply doesn't tell us about, especially among the other cultures of the world. The old gods are unknowable, all-powerful entities on a scale the human mind could never conceive of. They are living concepts that ever present to the world and simultaneously infinitely found in Termina makes it clear that Fear and Hunger's world uses the same months as our own. If we refer again to the clock in Termina, we can see 24 unknown symbols, which may 